Yes! I just had a moment where I was like, I really should check to make sure I don't have a booger hanging out before I press and record, but then I press record, so here we are. Uh, verdict says, all clear, hi, wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> Happy Vlog Monday. Welcome back to another vlog here on my channel. Um, how are you guys doing? I sure hope that you had a nice weekend. It's been like a week since we got back from our honeymoon, and I gotta say, I am still exhausted. You know, we had the best time, but the three hour time difference, it seems so like, like not a big deal, but it actually kind of kicked my ass this time around. So I forced myself to get up early today, work out, and uh, get the day started a little bit earlier. So I am currently on my way to go drop off a bag of clothes at Crossroads Trading. So you know, I've been talking about trying to like sell clothes and I just haven't pulled it together to start uh, uploading stuff to Poshmark. It's just, I just need like a full day and I need to be like in it to win it. So in the meantime, I decided to look on the Crossroads, um, it's like our local thrift store. I think it's, I mean, it's a chain, right? I don't know if they're across the country or is it just a California thing, but um, I think it's across the country, right? Let me know if you guys have crossroads in your states if you're not in California. Um, but they do this thing online where they list basically like what they're looking to buy for the season. And since it's a summer season, they had a whole list of stuff. And so I went through a bunch of my stuff that I was like planning on either poshmarking or giving away to friends and family and kind of pick through that to try to curate and kind of match uh, with what they're looking for instead of just bringing like bags and bags of stuff. So I have one huge bag in the back. So I figured I would go drop that off and then I'm gonna head over to the bookstore because I am doing my rounds as a god mommy and auntie this weekend. Let me tell you, you guys probably know if you have kids in your life, tis the season, or rather the end of the season, of school season, for all the plays, all the recitals, all the shows, all the stuff, the graduations. Today I'm gonna to go see my best friend's kid. Uh, he is playing Toto in The Wizard of Oz, uh, hence the gingham. She loves a theme, y'all. I love dressing in a theme. Um, so we're gonna go see him be Toto. And then tomorrow I'm going to a, a recital for my god baby. It's her first like ballet recital. So I figured I would go, instead of getting them like flowers and stuff, I figured I would just go to the bookstore and try to get like a themed, because she loves a theme, a themed book for each uh, kid's show. So hopefully like a Wizard of Oz book of some sort and a singing Angelina Ballerina um, for the ballerina. I love being an auntie. I love being a god mommy. It's so fun. I try to show up to everything. I feel like I have such a small family and it was always important to me when uh, family friends or like aunts or like teachers would show up to things for me and whether or not they're gonna remember because they're both very young. I mean, today's kid will probably remember he just turned six but whether they like truly remember that I was there or not at least I know that I'm like making the experience more fun in the moment and uh, like a bigger deal like today's show is like she told me the mom told me she was like it's like the most like dinky little play but it doesn't matter I'm just like so excited to go and support so uh, today I'm auntie and for some reason I got the name auntie Lisa but because he could couldn't say Lisa when he was little, so I just have become Auntie Lise Butt, um, and it's an honor. And tomorrow I am Lily. Anyways, Auntie Lise Butt slash Lily um, is ready to party. All the clothes fell out of the bag. Just gonna show you a lot of the stuff I actually uh, had showed you guys on the Keeper Toss video, and you all were very helpful with that. So thank you. Um, all right. Let's take this in and see what we can do. So I actually think I did very well at the bookstore. Well, first of all, I dropped off all my clothes and I'll find out on Sunday if they bought anything, so I'll let you know. Um, but I got this for today. I thought this was so cute. It's part of a collection um, where they do like all these old classics, but they have these great like um, bounded leather um, versions of them. They're just so cute. One of my god babies actually has this whole collection and it's just so cute on display, but I'm excited for that. And then for his sister, who loves Minnie Mouse and missed her birthday, so 
figured that. And then for tomorrow, perfect gift. Even though I know that they really want like stuffies, if this kid gets one more stuffy, her mom's gonna kill me. So I figured a book was a good alternative. <laughs> Just arrived to the first uh, performance, very excited. Obviously I'm not gonna bring you with me, but wanted to let you know that um, I'm conquering my fear of driving. I drove very far on the freeway and then through some canyons where people were driving very fast. So I'm getting there. This is just your encouragement if you have fears to kind of like push yourself a little bit. Not to say I didn't drive in the slow lane most of the way, but I did it, so. I'm patting myself on the back for that. All right, going into this performance, we'll report back after. Oh yeah. It is an actual, you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi to the internet? Come and say hi. Not interested, as usual. Uh, this is a real car vlog, car vlog. We are back. I had taken uh, Corny to my mom's while I went to go see the show. As you guys know, anytime I'm close by my mom's, I like to drop Corny off so she can play in the backyard. Um, anyways, the show was so cute, guys. So cute. Anyone out there who runs like school plays, school theater, any sort of performances, bless ya, that is an undertaking. I did that for years and I thought this was so cute. There was like four different Dorothys, there was like four of each part, so every scene a new kid would come out as the character. It was so cute, everyone had their own little moment to shine, I was so proud. And my friend's kid was Toto and he totally was a ham and it was perfect and I loved every moment of it. Tomorrow, I'll head to the recital, which by the way, tickets for recitals, uh, is this just like a sign of the times or like what? But like the ticket's like $35. Is that insane? I'm more than happy to spend it because I love my goddaughter and I would literally do anything for her and to see her and I wouldn't miss out on a moment. But like, am I just becoming an old lady? Like that sounds insane. <laughs> <laughs> Plus on top of that, like her mom paid for her to get like her pictures taken and the costume and oh my god. I mean I guess this is what parents go through. Everything is so expensive so it's making me think like should I just be like the crazy auntie and godmommy and like not deal with having my own? But then, if I'm being quite honest, first of all I have baby fever and then some. Um, I think that's just like a biological thing that just like a flip switched. Also, I think like once I met my partner and my match, uh, everything sort of like made sense. And that flip switched. Um, is, am I oversharing? Whatever. Internet, here we are. <laughs> I've been doing this for years. I don't know why I'm questioning it. Anyways, um, but then like watching today, I was like, okay, which kind of kid would Jeff and I have? Because there's all sorts of fabulous kids there today. They were like the super shy ones the super outgoing ones, the super hammy ones, the super like, they took their part really seriously, they knew every line, like, which kid would it be? It's kind of fun to think about, so anyhow. All right, that's my oversharing for the moment. <laughs> I'll be back. Grocery haul! I like legit like watching people's grocery hauls, but I feel like the ones that I watch the most are the Trader Joe ones for some reason, but I never go to Trader Joe's. I love, actually love Trader Joe's, um, it's just like the perking at Trader Joe's is so chaotic and like the store itself is so chaotic at least around me um, And most of the time Jeff does our grocery shopping so I never go but at some point I would like to make a Trader Joe's uh, trip because they have some interesting stuff there today However, we're doing a good old-fashioned Whole Foods just to get a few things This is not everything uh, that we use and eat but we had a few uh, things that we needed to pick up like I said, Jeff usually does the grocery shopping, which get yourself a man who does grocery shopping for you. It's wonderful. It's all the usuals if you watch any of my hauls. You guys know Siete is forever. Siete is love. Siete is life. Uh, Jeff likes these ones, the chickpea flour ones. I like the cassava ones. And then we've gotten really into this hummus. This is an oil-free, the company's called Roots, and we just get the original flavor, but they have a bunch of different flavors. What the hell? Literally everything you've seen before. Smart Sweets, these are my favorite ones. Jeff loves this. I did get this as a comfort food. Um, I like to like keep things in the closet just in case like I need like a, 
You know what I mean? Just like sometimes you just need a comfort snack or comfort meal. So um, I have been craving macaroni and cheese, but this is a vegan gluten-free kind from the company Banza. Banza? Um, I've had their pasta before and I really like it. Let's see, it appears the cheese is made out of sweet potato and natural yeast, which I really like. So into that, this is another dip that we enjoy thoroughly from Siete, our friends at Siete. These are Jeff's favorite smart sweets. I'll put links to all this stuff. A lot of the stuff you can get at Target, um, so I'll be sure to link that. I grabbed a new coffee to try. Um, guys, I'm really into my percolator, if you're wondering if you wanted an update, because I did a haul of it a while ago when I purchased it. I'm loving the way my coffee tastes via the percolator, so I wanted to try this. This is a ground organic coffee with a vanilla nut flavor to it. Brazooka! Brazooka Coffee Roasters! I don't know where they are based out of, but there you have it. I've been out of salt. This is my favorite salt to use. I'm a salt fiend. I know. I know. Salt isn't great for you. I I just really, really like salt. I'm a salty fiend. I don't need sugar. I don't need sweets, but I love salt. Uh, and so I get the Himalayan pink salt, which apparently is a better kind of salt for you than like a table salt. So if you're going to do it, do it well, my friends. This is the vegan cheese that we use all the time. My tuna that I love. This is the Wild Planet Albacore Wild Tuna. And then I was gonna try these. You know, I love these one bars. These are protein bars. This is a vegan one. Um, and I usually get a banana one, which I'll link below. I love it. I just put in an order for it. But I saw these, I wanted to give it a try. It's the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor. I also put in an order from Target for these. So that should be coming soon. Onions. And more rice. And the bill, which we don't wanna look at right now because it's disturbing. But that's our little supplemental uh, shop until Jeff goes and does a full shop. So, merry life. Love it. Okay, I think Jeff is about to get home, but I wanted to show you guys, I'm the worst cook of all times. This is literally the meal that I made. It took me a long time to frozen vegetables, a veggie burger that I like chopped up and like a full on onion, like a big ass slice of onion. Didn't even bother to chop it. Horrendous. My <laughs> Sending my mom pictures and I'm like I You didn't teach me you didn't teach me meanwhile. She sends me pictures of her dinner and it looks amazing So anyways, oh Jeff's home. You guys got to see this Jeff Brought home mama's juice. Oh bless you Hi. You guys got to see how excited corny gets when Jeff gets home yeah. Corny is your dad at home? Oh. I was just sharing um with my friends, how bad of a cook I am. You wanna see what I made tonight? I can smell it. I sent this picture to my mom and she literally was like, what is that? <laughs> Coin. Even Corny doesn't want it. That's the worst review. I wish you recoiled. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, guys, there has been a lot of flickering lights in our house recently and it's kind of freaking me out. Like that always happens in my bathroom, but there's another one now in my bathroom that is also doing that and it's freaking me out. Um, but besides ghosts, I'm just setting up my coffee for tomorrow. Oh, I was telling you guys about this. This is the percolator. I guess like before the plug-in one, you could do this on a stove, which is super fun. But I am far too lazy in the morning to do that. Like to plug it in and go. Anyhow, hope that you guys had a good day today with me. I'm not exactly sure what we did. It was a long day, but as usual, enjoyed spending it with you guys. Uh, starting to line up some new videos for the next couple weeks. So if there's anything that you're just dying to see, let me know. I'm sort of itching to do another like in the dressing room video. I was thinking of going back to Old Navy since I did just like um, a haul where I just order stuff online, but I thought it would be fun to kind of go in store. Um, but if there's anywhere else that you want to see, even back to Target, definitely let me know because I'm just like itching for a mall run, I think.
You know what store I've seen pop up a lot, and I'm wondering if it's because they're doing sponsorships or not. She'll look into that. Um, is Express? Kind of forgot about Express. I used to work at Express Men, which would be a good story time. Um, but I've been seeing a lot of like hauls, and maybe it's just what my like feed is like. The algorithm is feeding me, but I already have a judgment about them which maybe it would be fun to see if that judgment uh, rings true still. But like, I always thought that they were like kind of overpriced and their stuff never was super like great for the price point. And also I always thought the fits for um, a short girl were like never great, but maybe it's changed. So if you want to see that, let me know. But we're going in store for that because I don't want to order online from them. That would be so expensive, I think. Alright y'all, thank you for joining me. Um, hope you have a great rest of the day and I will see you tomorrow.